this Blitz uh, video tutorial. Today we're going to be creating an Oracle EBS uh, report and the aim is to try and do it uh, to show you through all the development steps uh, how straightforward it is and aim is to do it within 10 minutes. So let's get started. So I'll kick off the timer uh, here and then I'll log over into Oracle. The Blitz report is available on all the forms uh, menus as you decide. Uh, you see here I've put it on the top 10. Uh, Blitz reports run also through concurrent requests uh, as per normal, can be scheduled in that way. Uh, they can be scheduled from here as well. Uh, I'm in as a developer. Uh, a user would just get the ability to run reports, so, but I have this setup function here. Um, first and foremost, uh, let's give it a, a name. So we're going to call it uh, item change tracking. Uh, so the aim is to track, track when users have changed attributes uh, and at what time. Um, so just give it a little bit of uh, notation here. Okay, um, you note over here um, version is still not assigned because we haven't written any uh, reports. So I'm just going to do some uh, little uh, report here. So select uh, msib dot star from mtl system items b msib comma mtl parameters mp uh, where and then we need to join these tables so I'll just do that quickly organization id equals uh, msib dot just need to pop uh, that one over there just to make sure mp dot and then just check we haven't got any typos uh, msib uh, dot star mtl parameters mp uh, and then we seem to have those typed correctly now uh, that's now saved you, you get a version control here uh, so as you develop, uh, you can obviously uh, take this from environment to environment using uh, the basic the export uh, function, import export. You can also bring in reports from Discoverer or BI Publisher, uh, etc., and fast track those developments as well. Um, so we'll just pop across the parameter. I'm going to add um, the warehouse. So uh, that's the organization code. Uh, I'm going to pop that in there. I'm going to take away the default value because I'd li like to specify one myself. Um, and then here, I want to uh, add the item. So it's going to be the item. And I'm particularly interested in an item number. Um, you see here, we've got one here. Uh, so you can reuse uh, existing report parameters or you can create your own from scratch. Uh, you see uh, it's using list of values or it's using um, different uh, Oracle existed seeding, seeded uh, list of values. Um, and then this last one we're going to do is the last update uh, date. Um, so I'm interested if there's been a change within a period of time. So there's one here that again I can reuse, save reinventing the wheel. Last update within days. Um, so where MSIB last update date is um, within system date minus uh, number of days in the parameters. See, see here I've got a hundred uh, as the parameter setting. So we're still in good time, six minutes, 24 to go. Um, feeling the pressure. Uh, so let's save that and run it. So you can assign this, so we'll assign it um, at the user level. And I'm going to, I've got a user called user, funnily enough. You could equally assign it to responsibility. You could assign it to application, etc. cetera. Um, you can also categorize. So we could, uh, we could assign this to Nginatics. Uh, so if you want to search quickly for a category uh, as a user, you can just categorize all your reports, finance or order management, etc. cetera. So um, we had our very simple query here. Uh, parameters are assigned and the assignments are assigned um, and we've categorized it. Version control is done. Uh, we'll go ahead and run it to see if there's any errors. This should now send it directly through the concurrent manager. Um, so this will then get uh, go from, once you click kick off run, it will go to pending 
uh, and then it will launch to the Excel, which is fully formatted. Uh, all the data types are recognized, which is important. You see here, we've got the item over here. So we probably want to move that over here. We probably wouldn't want those uh, ID columns in there. So there's a little bit of work to do. So I'm just going to uh, go back to the report. So one of the things you can do is you've got options here. So you can um, create a template. I'm going to create a new template. Uh, and you simply uh, send the columns you don't want by double clicking or you can use these arrow keys. Um, I'm interested in segment one, so I could actually send it up to the beginning of the report. Um, we could hide these ones in a group. So, you know, you probably don't want to have all those other attributes that Oracle give you for flexibility. These are the flex fields. So if you've configured flex field, which most people do on inventory items, you could um, you could leave them on the report, obviously. And then you could just uh, look for other columns you don't want to have. Um, but I'm not going to do that. That's a complete, um, I say there's a, more or less the complete set of columns here because we did a select star. You could have built that up in the SQL, um, but this is obviously a rapid form of development anyway. And then we're going to give this um, a name, item track changes, and we'll assign that to users. So just so they're aware, um, they can also create their own template. That's that's all they can do. Obviously, they can't access the SQL. Um, so that's, that's now created. I'm going to close that. You could also um, send this to an email user so, or multiple email users. Um, so we can do that uh, now. Let's come. So when this is then scheduled, uh, you can send the output uh, as different types, you know, comma separated or just the default, which is Excel. Um, you've also got the ability to put row limits on here. So you could put time limits as well. So if, if, if you want to keep things out of busy hours or, or keep the limit uh, time limit down, you can certainly do that. Um, that's good. So again, uh, I'm going to put a larger value in here uh, and I'm going to go ahead and run just so we can see what that um, what that looks like now. Uh, we should see that uh, our column is now moved over and that we've uh, got a, a larger report. So now we've got segment one over here. Um, we still got a couple of minutes spare, so uh, we're not, not doing too badly. Uh, and this report is now ready for, for test. Okay, so we go back to setup. Um, we can put our version in there, so we can say ready for user testing. And then you could either migrate it um, to another environment uh, or, or whatever. So using tools, you can import. You can import any kind of uh, Oracle BI publisher report. You can bring in discoverer reports. You can bring in some of the concurrent uh, programs as well. It will bring in all the parameters and the assignments. You can also um, you can actually export as well. So once you've developed a complex report, you can then take it from one environment to the other. Um, so really just uh, going through this, uh, it's quite straightforward. We've still got some time spare. Um, we've got a couple of minutes spare. Obviously, you can uh, you can add in much more complexity here uh, as you see fit. Um, but now we, we've got a, a report that will allow us to track changes that have happened within the last few days. Um, and that was very simple to achieve. Uh, we put in some default parameters as well. Um, and obviously you could build up the parameters from existing values. This is now um, assigned to the user, user um, being this level. Um, so if we were to come out of here and log into it as a user, which I'm not going to do because obviously that would take a couple of minutes, um, then they would just see uh, the report and they'd have the ability to uh, assign a template and reorder the columns. So that was it. Um, we finished on time uh, with a minute to spare. Any questions, please visit us um, on our enginatics.com. There's many ideas over on the Enginatics YouTube video channel. There's also blogs and uh, good ideas uh, about database tuning, uh, concurrent request monitoring, and so on um, that you can uh, have a look at. Okay, thank you for now.